Hello, it's Bucks here, and welcome back to Mega Man 4, I believe. Yeah, it's still 4. I don't know why I thought that would change, but here we are. On to the next boss. So I wonder what it will be, and wonder what its weakness will be. Wait, what? Oh, it's a platforming challenge? Do you want to, like, stand in the middle, maybe? What? Oh, I get it. We're supposed to be inside of it. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So if I get hit by it, okay. This is definitely a very unique boss. So we want to slide so that we're inside of it, but... <laughs> that slide immediately into the laser. Oops. Okay, this time we're going to try the same thing, but with the dive weapon. I'm not too sure what the weakness of the boss is quite yet. But we'll find out. And once we do, it's going to be as good as defeated. We also don't want to waste too many lives is the issue here. Oh, I get it. So when it moves fast, that's when it's an issue. Okay, it's definitely not weak to dive. I guess we'll do bright next. Yes, I have a save point here because apparently if you die here, you don't actually get sent back to the boss, which is odd to me. So we need to slide underneath it when it goes fast, but when it goes slow like that, we need to slide underneath it. I get it. Like, this is actually a more optimal speed for us to go at. Let's see, how is Bright doing? Okay, Bright isn't really going to help, obviously, because it's not even a weapon. Toad is a weapon, but I feel like it might be a little cheap for this boss, you know? And if it doesn't have a weakness, it does have a pretty predictable pattern, so... So let's just wait till this goes super slow and then go inside of it. Because then it's actually reasonable to slip inside. Okay, that did zero damage. This is the fun part, trying to figure out the weakness of the boss. And then once we figure out the weakness, this is good as toast pretty sickly. It just requires a little bit of minor avoiding and stuff, and we're good. So we'll slide down, slide down again, wait for it to go super slow. So I guess it only impacts itself when it goes slow like this. Okay, let's see. Drill? That did not do too much damage, but we're still alive, so let's try Pharaoh next. Whoa, what was that? That was not good. So let's wait for it to go super slow. Ooh, now it's going to do it from this side, which is a little bit trickier. Okay, it's immune to... It's immune to Pharaoh. Got it. So what about Ring? Ring was the one that worked pretty well last time, which was extremely surprising. If all the bosses have a weakness of Ring, we're going to have an issue here. Because if we run out of Ring, we're basically not going to be able to defeat any more bosses. Well, this time it went slow twice. To me in the ring. Got it. What about dust? Well, I think that's a sizable chunk of health. I honestly can't tell. Alright. We have to wait till it goes super slow and then it can actually like that. Okay, it's dust. It's weak to dust. Got it. So all we have to do is just survive and use dust. Cool. Should be easy enough, because we have already established that this boss isn't actually too difficult. And I'm pretty sure we may have actually an E-Tank. We have three E-Tanks? That's actually pretty good. We'll use those later. It's definitely going to be important that we save those for something more important, you know? Okay. There we go. Okay, that was bad. But that was Ring. Hey, I forgot we had a Ringo cook. We want Dust. If we really struggle on this boss, we might actually even have to use the E-Tank. But that's not ideal. What isn't ideal is losing a life. You know? I'd rather lose an E-Tank than a life. But at the same time, I think we might be able to do this boss. Oh, oops. That was not a good idea. Ouch. That was even a worse idea. So we just gotta make sure that we're not staying in one spot, I guess. Wait, I thought it slid right there. Hmm. Maybe we're not timing the slides right. Okay, this is actually going to be pretty difficult to 
actually hit the boss with dust. So it makes sense that dust is the weakness. We may even get a sacrifice at E-Tank because my skills in this game are not that good. Although I am getting better, we're not going to be able to damage boost this boss at all. But luckily his pattern isn't too difficult to understand. Okay, if we miss, we basically miss and that's bad. Okay, we did a little bit of damage right there. Just going to go fast. Okay, that was medium speed, so we'll just slide underneath that. Okay, now it's going to go from this direction, which is a tiny bit trickier. Okay, so it fires exactly where you're at. So maybe, like, rotating the way we jump on the platform would be good. I think that might be the key. The key to success. Oh, it's going actually pretty slow this time for the first round. So we'll do this. And then jump from platform to platform. Maybe that'll work. But I haven't quite executed properly yet, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work out, you know. There we go, it's gonna go super fast. Go then slow. Okay, now it's gonna go slow. So as soon as it Okay, so we wanna make sure that we're on the sides when it first spawns in, I guess. Because otherwise we're gonna get hit. I did not mean to do that. That was a bad idea. Okay, wait for it to go super slow. It's gonna come from this direction, which is a little bit more difficult. So, there we go. So if we make sure that we hit it from the side right there. Whoa, okay, this is difficult. Uh, we already know it's to mean to dive. Maybe if we skull and then switch. So we can avoid the laser easier. Maybe that's the key. The key to success. If not, it's probably charged up. Oh, we don't even need to duck if you time it per per perfectly. Oh, it's not even doing any damage. Okay. Okay, we're equipped with dust. Let's try this again. It's just so hard to hit the boss with this kind of setup, you know? We need to make sure that we go to your side. There we go. Oh, this is so much easier than I thought it was. Okay, I figured out the pattern. We just gotta move from platform to platform, literally. That's actually not too bad. There we go. Okay, that was bad. So if you mess it up just slightly, then you get hit. But we still have at least one more hit to go. Uh, I mean, two more hits. Also, why do I keep jumping there? Okay, I got a feeling that we're going to defeat this boss now. I know. I got a feeling. That this one feels like the one. You know? Oh wait, that was not even slow. Okay, so there we go. This is definitely slow. Okay, I messed that up. I messed up the pattern, but we might be able to get one hit in. No, and we got hit, too. That's actually really annoying. We didn't get one hit in on the boss, either. Okay, we're going to wait for it to get slow. There we go. Okay. It's really difficult to switch. If you don't get the initial hit, then you can't even hit the boss at all. That's an issue, honestly. Not with the boss, but an issue I'm having, basically. There we go. Oh, I messed up the pattern. There's a very specific pattern you've got to handle. That's what I'm mostly struggling with right now. There we go. There we go. Okay, we'll jump in this time. Okay. Let's try and hit the boss now. Okay. Okay, we got one hit in. That's better than no hits. There we go. We got a duck right here. Check right here, and then the next the one we should be able to jump into. Yes, we can. There we go. Got that hidden. Okay. That was bad. Okay. That was good. It looks like we might only be able to get one hit in. If I, if I do it, like, perfectly, we'll be able to get two hits in. But it's really hard to do, honestly. Especially with my skill level in Mega Man. Okay. That was the wrong direction that I fired at. 
That's okay, I guess. Okay. This game is lit this stage is literally just a long game, really. I mean, this boss, not the stage. The stage was actually pretty easy from what I... Oh no, that was bad. I forgot to move to the side. The opposite side that time. And I got hit twice. So, I can either get two hits in, get hit twice, or get one hit in and not get hit. I would rather get one hit in and not get hit than any other outcome, honestly. Okay, make sure that we go through this side. Oh, I just want at least one hit. And when I get desperate for a hit, I keep getting hit because I'm not switching sides. I need to switch sides. I don't know why I keep doing this. Okay. There we go. Wait for it to go super slow. It may even be a good idea to just... Okay, I do not know why I ran straight towards it. Okay, that time we got hit once and then did two hits. That's also another outcome, which I did not factor in initially. Okay, duck underneath. This gonna go slow. This is gonna come from this angle. So let's immediately go right there. Okay, I keep turning too early when I fire my shots is the issue. That's another issue I have with Mega Man. Is I'm too um, worried that I'm gonna get hit. That I'll actually turn away uh, an opportunity to fire at the boss. Okay. There we go. If I had repeated that pattern, I actually would have gotten hit there, so I'm glad that cycle ended. Oh, no! Ah! When it comes fast at you, I just don't expect it. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna get- we're gonna die if we get hit again. So now I'm being extra paranoid. Okay. It should be a, like, at least three more hits at this boss, honestly. Okay, so it's gonna do that. Get back to the middle so we can get ready to duck. Okay. So it's gonna be slow again. The only issue is I freak out once we are low on health. Okay, this has gotta be one more hit left. We just gotta make sure that we don't get hit by the fast moving one. So get back to the middle. Okay, it's gonna be slow again. There we go. Stuck in there. Okay, this is not good. I got nervous and I choked. Oh, I got nervous and I choked. Okay. We just gotta make sure that we're ducking for the fast one. Cause that fast one's gonna get us. We're not careful at all. Okay. There we go. Boom. Defeated! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. See, now that was good. Oh! Another stage in the terrible tower. Okay. Ooh, is this the last stage before the final boss? That'd be cool. Then I can start Mega Man 5. Well, it depends on how this goes, honestly. Oh, it's the side-scroller stage. Interesting. I don't think we see too many side-scrollers in Mega Man. This could either be a really fun stage or extremely difficult, frustrating stage. Okay, already there's enemies that aren't easy to defeat without a charge shot, so that's normal because it's Mega Man 4, which introduces the charge shot. Wait, why can't I do a charge shot? Oh, never mind. I just wasn't holding it, apparently. Oh, we can also defeat those with a normal shot. So let's see, what do we need to restore right now? I guess dust, really. So let's make this jump so we can restore dust. Hey, so far this side scroller stage isn't too difficult. There's a few uh, jumps that I was concerned about right there. Well, other than that, this is actually a pretty. What? One of these dudes on the side scroller? Oh no. Can I just skip you? Please, just let me skip you. Yes, the game is nice enough to do that. Can we defeat this? We have to be able to. Oh wait, if we go back down there, it's gonna be sad everything. What are we supposed to do here? Maybe dust? Maybe we need to use like a special ability. Ooh, dust. Worked out very effectively. Oh, wow, dust is actually a really effective weapon. That's why I don't want to waste it though. 
in case we need it again. But bosses never have the same weakness twice. We'll just use it for emergencies just in case, you know. What I'm really concerned about is our health, honestly. Because we can't just keep having this- Whoa! Okay, so these platforms go up. Or down. Okay, so they go up as you fall. Got it. Actually, they're giving us so many of these, so we might even use dust constantly. So this is a really good weapon. Okay, so this is gonna go down. Okay, this is going down as well. So we want to make sure that this goes down as well. I like this stage so far. It's actually really fun. Okay, so that time we need to go as high as possible so we can make that really long jump. Okay, we're going down here. There we go. Going down here, and then we need to sink down as fast as possible here. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, do you think we can get this key tank? How will we get it? Do you have anything that will allow us to duck inside of air? Also, it seems like we've reached the boss, too. Definitely not dust. Drill, maybe? Armorine. We barely use this one. Do you think this could, like, grab it for us? No. Yeah, since when has there been a underwater stage? Really? Drill? Do you think Drill can grab it? No, Drill isn't gonna grab anything. Yeah, I don't want to waste any weapons. Could I do a, like a, a crouch jump in there? It's gonna bother me that I can't get in here. Maybe our coil is the key? I don't know, honestly. Anyways, it looks like we've actually reached the boss already? That's actually pretty good. We can't just keep doing this where we hang on the thread trying to figure out the boss's weakness. Ooh, this boss has spike traps. Ooh, interesting. So it's like a robot? Okay. It's actually really hard to hit. Okay, what I want to test right now is if you can jump into it. Okay. So far this boss isn't too bad. Honestly. In terms of avoiding it. The real question is, what is its weakness? If it has a weakness. Some bosses don't have weaknesses. Bright isn't even gonna attack anything. Toad, maybe? But that would be a little broken, wouldn't it? Okay. So let's go ahead and try this. Yeah, it's definitely not Toad. Let's try Drill next. Definitely not Drill. Pharaoh. Definitely not Pharaoh. Can't be dust again. It's definitely not dust. Dive? Well, we can't really tell if I if I die. This may be another one of those bosses where it doesn't have weakness. And that's okay, because I feel like I might be able to do this boss. Dive? Absolutely not. Got it. The skull. I did not mean to jump straight into you, let's go. Let's see, we've done dive, skull, ring, dust, bright. Let's try skull again. So we didn't actually get it hidden. We failed to get it hidden. Okay, skull. Oh, this isn't like leaf. Okay, it's a Mina skull. Good to know. So do we have any weapons that we can fire up? I think that would be the next thing we'd be prioritizing, honestly. A hey, bright isn't gonna help in this situation, honestly. Hmm. I guess we're going with the classic Mega Buster. Hopefully, like, the big shots will help us hit the bosses here. Ooh, yeah, that, that actually was really effective. Okay, so that answers my question. You can jump into the boss and it one hits KO to do. Got it. So you do not want to touch that thing at, at all costs. So let's go ahead and get a shot in. Like so. Is it the charge shots? Does that make you jump higher? 
I don't think so. This also might be the situation where I'll use one of our E-Tanks. We have two E-Tanks for the final boss. I feel like that'll be enough. And this boss seems uh, pretty difficult. So we'll do one more attempt, and if I can't do it, we'll end the video here. Okay, yeah. So the projectiles are not that bad. I think our issue is going to be getting too close to the boss. And this, since this boss moves a lot, it might even be a better idea to just spam our, our weapon using turbo. Like so. Okay. We just gotta make sure that we keep jumping. Okay, I feel like it's definitely doable, but I'm not gonna be able to execute it right now. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.